Good start. Ortega just slightly away quicker. Fafana also running well at this stage. Now Martino Lagarde really starting to close down on Ortega. Ortega pulling away though. Second gear for Ortega. And it's Spain one, France two. And Travel coming through very well on the outside for third place. Settling for a time of 13.38, Orlando Ortega taking 12 points. Pascal Martino Lagarde second, and Gregor Traber third for France and Germany, respectively. And there's the full lineup of full set of results. Yeah. Well, there they go. Good start by uh, Manga. And Ortega's coming up, and then Ortega coming through. Martino Lagarde also, and over on the far side, Trankovic. Well, they were the three fastest in Europe this year. And they're very close indeed. It's going to need the photo to decide all the medals. The winning time, not especially quick. And it has just come up. The verdict has gone to the man on the far side. It was Trykovic who took the title. His first major title, 7.60, the winning time. So the two favourites are upset. But Trykovic, of course, has run very close to their times this year. And that is a triumph for Cyprus. The gold medal, the first ever for Cyprus, to Milan Trajkovic in 7.60. The silver to Pascal Martino Lagarde in 7.61. And the bronze to his compatriot, Aurel Manga. Well, Martino Lagarde out the quickest, also running very well is Trajkovic at this stage. Now Pozzi starting to motor though. It's Pozzi by a whisker from Martino Lagarde. Well, he's run quicker, but he won't mind because that is his first major championship gold medal. Andy Pozzi gets Great Britain and Northern Ireland's first gold medal of these championships. Maybe there's going to be more to come. Great Britain and Northern Ireland traditionally bring strong teams to this championship. But Andy Pozzi confirms his status as the favourite for this event. Well, as Peter said, has run slightly quicker in his time, didn't get the best of starts. Indeed, it was Trashkovic and Martino Legato, his inside, who got the best start. But over the final two hurdles, his clash shone through. Very, very tight indeed for that bronze medal. I'm going to wait and see who actually gets that verdict. Svoboda. Well, Svoboda, after all his injury problems, coming through in lane two. Well, the surprise for me was Ortega, but that's the reason why he hit that uh, fourth hurdle very hard indeed. And having seen him at his last race in Madrid, he seemed to be just running out of steam after a very, very good early winter. Well, very, very tight final indeed. Three hundredths covering the top four. Andy Pozzi coming through in 7.51. Martino Lagar has to settle for the silver on this occasion. 7.52. A delighted Petr Svoboda at the age of 32. Getting up there for a rather surprising bronze medal on pre-season form. Good start from Basco, I have to say. Really good start from him. Also going well for Lodge in third from right. Here come the three French. It's going to be a one, two, three for the French. And a long way ahead. And maybe with a dive there in the dip, Baldivite taking fourth place. But that was fantastic. And there's a bit of cramp, hopefully cramp. Nothing worse for Martin Lagarde there. Big, big man. Looks like his left hamstring maybe just giving him a bit of grief. But he's all smiles because he has secured a medal. He might have won it. He might even have taken it. He was the fastest finisher. Well, let's take another look at it. We will very, in a very minute. close between him and Basque. <laughs> so close. Basque was quickest out of the blocks and led the early stages. But to Martin Lagarde, this would be nice in a way because uh, he lost to Basque in his semi-final, but more importantly, didn't take either of the goals, the big international goals we expected from last year. And he is the champion. Pascal Martin Lagarde has taken it at last. After being world number one last year, being a world junior champion back in 2010, he was bronze medalist two years ago. This is richly, richly deserved. Indeed, silver medalist last year at the World Indoor Championships. He's got plenty of uh, minor medals at senior level. He was third in 2012 at the World Indoors. Pascal uh, Martino Lagarde. Coming through late because Bascu Martin 
centre of picture there with the Spoboda bashing barriers. Certainly quickest through the first half. But he's the bigger man, Martino Lagarde, on the near side of the three French fests. Yeah. They all did simultaneously. And they're pretty much side by side, but when you dip within your, a torso that's six foot two tall as opposed to a torso that's 5'11, you're uh, going to get it by a couple of inches. I think it was bouncing back uh, at the end here when he pulled up that led to the cramp. But Bashku, as he had been in the semi finals, was away at the first hurdle, had half a metre, but Martineau Lagarde just clawed it back. has a small, slow start, Martino Lagarde going very well, so too Posse at this stage. Now Shebenkov closing down on the Frenchman, Shebenkov on the shoulder of Martino Lagarde. I think it's the Russian, but it's so close. It certainly is, it's going to need the photo to sort that one out, because I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure either, I, I, I think it might have been Shebenkov. But of course, it's the shoulder. We can see their heads normally closing the line first, but it's very... It's very tight. No, they're giving it to Martino Lagarde. 13-17, season's best. He was fastest out of his blocks, and he hung on all the way to the line. 13-17 as well, the same time, split by a few thousands. Shabenko taking a tumble in his desperate lunge to try and get in in front of the Frenchman. Oh, and what <laughs> dips from both of them, wow. There's the photo, look at that. Tiny margin. Who's got the longest neck there? Yes. <laughs> well, a slight upset, Shubenko clearly the favourite. Of course, we know that Martin lagarde has been a great hurdler for some time. Really has come back to top form here to take the title. There's the birthday boy getting a little, little present. And the biggest present of all is going to be the gold medal hung around this man's neck, Pascal Martino Lagarde, who came in third on the European list, just slightly behind Ortega, but Ortega has to settle for the bronze. <laughs> well, while they celebrate, uh, Sergei Shubenko clearly very disappointed. Confirmation of the results, gold, Pascal Martino Lagarde, 13.17. Sergei Shebenkov, same time on the clock, just a few thousands between them. And Orlando Ortega, the Spaniard, taking the bronze.